No matter what type of business that you're working in or supporting, whether it's a team or a small business or an enterprise client, voice is an important aspect of how we communicate with each other internally as well as with our customers and clients externally. So it's very important to have a high quality voice system in place that has all of the different features that we need from a voice system so that we can have that high quality communication. Now, I've done a number of videos here on the channel about a company called 3CX. They're sponsoring this video as well. And I really like 3CX because they provide a voice service that's quite easy to manage. I can run it completely in the cloud. I can bring it on premise if I want. I have all of the flexibility that I need in order to have good voice communications. And what's really neat is that they have a new version out version 20. And in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the changes in how we can work with version 20 to unlock some more management features and get some more control over aspects that are really important in today's world, as well as I'm going to talk about some specific features that I think are very interesting and that are going to make setting up and maintaining a voice system so much easier. Let's take a look at version 20 of 3CX and all of the cool things that it can do. Going to 3CX.com, we can see a whole bunch of different features as well as a completely free edition that we can use in order to work with small teams. So I'm going to go into my account and you'll see that I have a lot of options. I'm going to go to my systems and underneath my systems, I have a couple of systems that I work with, a pro system as well as the free system for a small team that I'm working with. So underneath the pro system, I'll use that one to demonstrate here, you'll see that I have a new admin console. So I have this really nice admin console with all the features that I would expect to have of a call center software. And underneath advanced features, this is where I can really set things up to be exactly as I want them. Now I've downloaded the PWA app, so I've just got a dedicated management console, and I can go into my account, I can do things like set do not disturbs, I can go into the settings, I can put a picture of myself onto my account, I can even set up two-factor authentication now, where I just scan the QR code and set that up. I can also add other users, of course I'm going to add other users, and I can set the role for these other users as well. That's very handy and we're going to see something very cool in a moment when I expand on that. I can set the schedule for the user and the user can set their own do not disturbs and such. And I'm going to show you another cool thing on scheduling as well. Let's take a look at adding a trunk line. So I go under voice and chat. Um, in my case, I'm in Canada, so I'm going to choose the country Canada, and then I'm going to choose my provider. It defaults to the prefer preferred provider call centric. I'm with another preferred provider called Voxtel Sys, so I'm going to go in there, choose Voxtel Sys, and then I'm going to be able to set up my trunk. I can also add departments, and I love this new feature because I could set up departments and then you'll see that once I set up the department, I can choose different language options for different departments. I can also go into these departments and I can go into my office hours and I can set those up. I'll show you that in a moment, but I can put a user into different departments. So in this case, my new user is going to be part of the training department. And now they're going to take things like the office hours from the training department. So I could have default office hours. I could have office hours and breaks for specific departments. And then users in those departments will be bound by those breaks. They can individually override them in their account, but it's a very cool feature. I can also go into advanced features and get a whole bunch more monitoring in version 20 than I had in the previous version, version 18. So it's just expanded the amount of control I have to see what's going on. Things like event logs will help me troubleshoot, but that reporting is very, very powerful. Integrations remain in place, things like integrating with a CRM system or Microsoft 365 or Google. I can go into advanced features and do all sorts of things around uh, networking, different countries that are allowed to dial in and out. I can even set up fax services. There's, there's a lot here setting up a call system. This is a fully featured uh, call service provider that I'm able to set up a complete call center with just every feature you could imagine. On an individual basis, I can go in and even monitor my connection quality. Again, another new feature for version 20, but this can become super helpful if I'm having any call issues. I can go in and monitor my connection quality 
very useful feature, glad to have it. Now from a security standpoint, I actually can have a soft phone. It's downloaded from the Windows Store. So that's secure and then I can set up with my email or my extension, authenticate into this soft phone and now I can place and receive calls on my computer. If we want to do a highly customized solution for our organization, version 20 allows me to use C-sharp code to create custom call processing scripts. This sometimes referred to as route point means that what I can do is I can add my own custom logic into any calls coming into the organization to route them to where I need them to go. So for example, if I have a high value client calling in, I can have them directed to a specific agent just based upon their caller ID. If I have calls coming in from an area where I know there's a certain language that's spoken, I can route those calls to agents that speak the same language. Basically, the possibilities are limitless because I'm using C Sharp to create that custom call processing code. It's a very powerful feature in version 20 and one that I'm excited to explore in order to see what I can do around call routing using this custom scripting. And if I want to do something else that's really interesting, I can actually use Google services to do speech to text. So for example, I can go onto my Google environment, I can set up a Google speech to text service, I can then connect that to 3CX, so now when a call comes in and a message is left, that can be converted from speech into text and then I can work with it as a text object. Those two features are very useful. They're a little bit more involved and they do require some programming knowledge or scripting knowledge, but the fact is that 3CX version 20 supports them. And I'll put a couple links down below in the description on articles of how to set that up. And if you're interested, comment down below and maybe we can make some videos specifically on those features, the call processing scripts and the Google speech to text features but they are very useful and they can really make for a customized solution in 3CX, version 20 supports them. There are a lot of different features available in version 20. These are just a few of the features that I've demonstrated for you, but it really takes 3CX and it extends it to allow it to do even more things that I need to do from a robust call center solution. I like the fact that I can have it hosted for me so I can just go in through the console and configure everything I need. The only thing that I really need to make sure I do is connect the SIP lines or the trunk lines so that I have calls coming in and out. But once I've got that, I can really set up all of my different users. They can share those lines, the trunk line, so I can have multiple phone calls all happening at once. I can have auto attendant. I can have all the things. And I used to work in hotels and we had an entire room dedicated to all of the different extensions and phone lines that we needed. If we could run that across our own local network, that would have been fantastic. And now with a tool like 3CX, I can, and with version 20, have all these features in here that are gonna help me do that more efficiently, effectively, and with a lot more control. So I'm glad you watched the video because I think it's something that you should know about if you're interested in doing anything with voice, whether hosted or whether local. You want to make sure that you have a good, robust voice system for your organization, and 3CX is the way to go. If you have any questions or if you'd like to see anything more advanced, if you'd like to see some more integrations, check out some of my other 3CX uh, videos or comment down below if there's one that you would like me to specifically create or demonstrate to you in terms of features for voice. It's a really neat thing. I always like to, to do the voice stuff. See you in the next video and thank you so much for watching.